Medical doctor Dr. Chris Reynolds responds to questions about the therapeutic benefits of wheatgrass. Topical steroid addiction is very common. Can wheatgrass help overcome that dependency? Well, for a start, it's not easy. A very high, extremely high number of people globally who are suffering from what we could probably call steroid addiction. Not because they can't live without it, but they, their, their skin erupts so badly when they stop it that uh, they have to use more. Uh, this may be good for the pharmaceutical companies, but it's not really good for the patient. There's a, a condition called red skin syndrome, red skin syndrome, which is uh, related to tacrolimus or a drug called Protopic, which is a very powerful and potent immune suppressant. In fact, they use it to suppress uh, uh, kidney graft, organ graft patients, to suppress their immune system to prevent them rejecting the, the, the implant, sorry, the transplant. But the, um, these drugs, you know, tacrolimus in particular, when it, it, can, it can cause a, a red rash, and in particular when they start trying to stop it. And the immune, or the immunological effect, the, the immune suppressant effect of these drugs, I mean, it has been reported, people developing leukemias and all sorts of things, but that's another issue. But in terms of, of controlling their rebound, and the rebound is what happens when people start to come off steroids, and it's extremely common. And I could speak as a GP, and I, do, I used to do what every other doctor did. You know, you'd start a patient on a low, uh, low um, strength steroid, like a child, a young child or an infant, 1% uh, hydrocortisone, which is pretty low, uh, you know, it's pretty safe, and, um, and it would control the, the redness and the swelling and for a while, and then it would flare up again and you put it back on again. But after a while, the patient gets resistant to that particular steroid, so you start something a bit stronger. But you keep the hydrocortisone on the face, you don't want to put strong stuff on the face, and, but you can put it on the body. Well, frankly, you don't know the difference, but I think it's just as bad wherever you put it. What goes on, and then, then the, you go from stronger to stronger stuff, and then it becomes more and more difficult to, to, for the patient to stop it without getting a, a, a really nasty rebound. Some people go cold turkey, and some people are advised to go, go cold turkey. There's a website. Uh, we're on, uh, that's a very popular website with, uh, about r uh, the red skin syndrome where the doctor is advising them to go cold turkey. I don't agree with that it, because it's extremely difficult for the patient and they suffer, they suffer really badly and their skin weeps and it can, the, the, with the, uh, some of these drugs, with the steroids, the, the, the redness goes, just spreads over their whole body when they stop the, stop the medication. What the steroid is doing is suppressing the skin's ability to respond to external and internal um, attack, say from, from uh, the sun or from chemicals or from you know, just the atmosphere or whatever, dryness. So going cold turkey is just not on in my, my book. But before wheatgrass, I used to just keep applying it on tell them to keep using it. But the trouble is that after you start using it, after some time, the skin starts to atrophy. It thins out. And uh, in, what happens is the skin loses its ability to protect the body from external uh, marauders, you know, sort of as they say from... It, it, and also it, it, it reduces the skin's ability to recover naturally from that immune suppression because of the rebound, it just comes back. So what I discovered after some time, after I'd been using wheatgrass for some time, that I could actually, if I started taking somebody off steroids, if they started putting on the wheatgrass in conjunction with the steroids for the first week or two, and then gradually reducing the steroid, maybe just one application a week for the first week, two for the next week, but very, very gradually, but keeping putting on the wheatgrass. And it tends to modulate and reduce that rebound reaction. 
and at the same time you're reducing the steroids and over a period of time it, it might take six months. It works if the patient is patient or if the doctor's patient. Sometimes you have to go back to the strong steroid for a while. But you have to look, the concept is to reduce the frequency with which you apply that steroid. So it might be three or four times a day to start with. You know, so 28, 30 times a week. You know, 120 times a month. That's a lot of stuff going on in your skin, especially when it's a steroid. And, but over three months, you might only get down to 60 times a month. But that's half that. You might get down to 10. But you can gradually do it. And then uh, usually within six months, you can actually take most people off the steroids altogether. But it's hard work. As a doctor, it's hard work because you've got to keep, you've got to keep the patient's morale up because they start to rebound and they start weeping again, the skin comes back and you've got to put them on steroids again. With the severe ones, I often put them on, st uh, on oral steroids to get control, which stop the topicals altogether and then gradually bring that down because you can systemically, you're taking it systemically, you can, you can control your dosage. When you're putting the creams and, 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 and ointments and things on your skin, steroids, you can't control that the amount of dose that's going through the skin into the body. And we know that the steroids suppress the body's immune system. And so this is what happens when you, when you stop the steroids suddenly, the immune system reacts. And uh, because there's no, there's no modulation. And that's where the wheatgrass comes in. It appears to modulate that, that reaction. You've got to be very patient. And, uh, but if you stick with it, it works. So you might only need to use the grass once a day. I think we have something here that's very important in the treatment of eczema. And uh, not uh, because it, it works for eczema as well in many cases. And uh, a lot of these patients have to stay with the wheatgrass. But at least they don't, they're not using steroids.